in every angular application there are two files and one folder in this video we will understand what is the use and role of node modules uh, package log.json and package.json uh, this is a workspace in a single workspace we can have multiple applications let's open package.json file this is the name of the workspace then we have version and scripts um, it has some dependencies to work with angular application we need all the packages we need angular animations angular common angular compiler orxjs and tslib zone.js etc here we have some more dependencies dependency means this angular application is dependent on all the packages and libraries we are getting these packages and libraries from some other place these are the name of the packages that we are going to use in this application here uh, you have to notice these two things here we have dependencies here we have dev dependencies uh, these packages are required only to develop the angular application these packages are, are the basic packages uh, used to run our application here we have typescript this typescript is a super set of javascript this is only used for application development browser only understand javascript when you build this application from this code typescript will get converted into javascript automatically that's why this typescript is written inside this dev dependencies this angular cli is used to create a new component new module to build your application but we do not need this package at production level that's why we have two groups in this file so package.json uh, is a file this file is mandatory for every npm project this file has all the dependencies some of production level dependencies some of development level dependencies in the development level both these uh, dependencies are required in the production level these packages only required now let's open this package log.json here we have name of the workspace you can open this in application also let's open this package log.json before that let's open this package.json see here we have the name of the application version scripts then we have two groups dependencies and dev dependencies now let's open this package log.json here we have name of the application version log file version um, in this dependencies we have rxjs version is uh, 7.5.0 then tslib let's see about this scroll down see here we have rxjs and tslib here uh, version is 6.6.7 then resolved from this uh, npm registry then we have integrating this rxjs requires um, tslib it means rxjs as the dependency on this tslib here we have the details about tslib this is the tslib version 1.14.1 it is a result from this npm registry and this is the integrity of this tslib in package.json file uh, we have only all the dependencies that are used in the application in this package log.json file we have all other dependencies those are required for further packages that we have installed in this application then we have node modules in node modules we have the actual files inside this folder if you expand this or uh, you can see there is lots of file inside this node modules 
if i want to use anything from here uh, i can import these uh, things in our application simply understand this package.json file um, as only top level dependencies that we are going to use in our application package log.json file as all the details about the packages dependencies with the version registry and everything like that in node modules we have the actual files i hope this video is helpful to you thanks for watching